Welcome to another edition of Forsaken Arena Tournament Highlights, where we feature your videos of battle. Our first match today pits Captains America versus Godzilla, and you know with a marquee like that, this is gonna be good. America has brought a powerful long-range surface combination to the battle, with three Atlas carriers and a retrofitted Barracuda, led by a Grimshine's Berserker. Godzilla has three heavily armored Hell Strikes to go for the throat. America sees that Godzilla is boasting a lot of thrower weapons and tries to spread out his fleet to minimize their splash potential. Godzilla, though, is wasting zero time and heads directly into the fray, forcing America to turn tail and try to put some distance between them. All three Hell Strikes now in range of the Berserker and unload a hefty dose of launcher and rocket fire, triggering multiple eruptions. But the Grimshines goes into overload, and a hailstorm of Chaos Mortars are now raining on the Hellstrikes. The nightmarish swarm of UAVs unleashed by the carriers is getting too much to handle. One of the Atlas carriers bites the dust, but it's too little too late, and America triumphs over Godzilla. Let's go to Eric Foley for the post-battle analysis. Lack of speed was Godzilla's weakness. He needed to get within range of America's fleet much faster to gain the advantage. I'd recommend taking the rogue crew gearheads or fearless blitzers next time to rush his opponent. Also, he devotes too much time firing on the Grimshine's Berserker, which is actually what his opponent wants, because then it can overload the Atlas's fire and triple the number of UAVs that they launch. Finally, Godzilla should consider bringing a submarine hunter, such as a retrofitted battlecruiser with thermal sensors. Even if he had destroyed the rest of America's fleet, the Barracuda would have posed a big problem. Time for another battle featuring 2K14 Sneaky versus Biga. Sneaky has brought four Interceptor V2Cs, led by a gunboat as a dummy flagship. Biga has two Atlas carriers and three Arbiters housing light piranha drone modules. Sneaky heads south and is trying to hit one of the carriers while it's separated from its brother. But at the same time, this is allowing the piranha drones to get dangerously close, and a few of them are able to take a bite out of the Interceptor's health bar. With one Atlas down, the rest of this match is going to be an uphill battle for Biga. Sneaky continues to orbit around Biga's position, picking off drones and waiting for the right opportunity to enter weapons range. Biga throws caution to the wind and charges Sneaky with his only Atlas. He launches several volleys of UAVs, but the concentrated fire coming from the interceptors is just too intense, and the carrier is sent to the bottom of the sea. At this point, the Arbiters are now relatively unprotected, and Sneaky has only to bide his time to pick off the drones until he sees another window to strike. Sneaky has been very patient in this battle, and that's prevented him from making any rash decisions that might have backfired on him. With only a few seconds remaining, Bega hits the self-destruct button and finalizes what we already knew was a foregone conclusion. Once again, time for the post-battle analysis. There are two flaws in Biggest strategy. Instead of clumping his Arbiters together, he should have spread them out to get the drones charging in from multiple directions. This would have made it more difficult for Sneaky to deal with both the drones and the carriers at the same time. He correctly splits his carriers in a pincer movement to zone Sneaky off against the side of the arena. But when his first carrier enters weapons range, he should have turned around to try and lure the interceptors closer to the second Atlas. I'd also suggest that Biga trade one of his Arbiters for a submarine. This would allow the other two Arbiters to carry your heavier drone modules and the sub could put more pressure on his opponent. Thanks for watching and keep sending in your videos of the Forsaken Arena Tournament.